when i remote login into my raspberry pi server i authenticate myself by entering the password for the pi but the thing with passwords is is that they are not that secure even if you keep a strong password like this it is very hard to memorize especially if you manage multiple servers you cannot remember the passwords for all of the servers and you cannot write the passwords down on a note and keep them on your desk or in a text file in your computer that is a big security risk so today i will set up key based authentication for my pi server so i can remote login into my pi without a password key based authentication is also called public key authentication and it provides enhanced security than long complicated passwords so how key based authentication works is that a pair of keys will be generated that are cryptographically a match to one another one will be a private key that will be stored on our main computer from which we will be connecting remotely from and will and will be used to identify ourselves to the server private keys are also called identity keys because they are used to identify the user of the private key and should be kept safe and secure the other will be a public key which will be copied over to the pi server and the public key will be used to authorize the user with the matching private key and now uh, public keys are also called authorized keys so, so now let me show you how this all works on the left side i have my computer terminal open and on the right side i have my pi server running so on our computer we are going to generate a pair of public private keys using the ssh keygen command and then we are going to copy our public key over to our pi server so to get started type in ssh keygen and press enter after that it will ask you where do you want to save your key files and by default the keys are saved in the uh, ssh directory under the uh, in your users ssh directory under your home directory so if you do not want to save it in your default directory you can type in the location of where you want to save your keys if you want to opt for the uh, default directory then pre just press enter after that it will ask you for a passphrase now what this passphrase does it that it adds an extra layer of security for your private key so in an event that your key is your private key is compromised so it cannot be used so as this is optional we are going to skip it just press enter and then press enter again and your uh, keys are created now, now we are going to list the contents of the ssh directory now you can see that these are the two files that are created now the id underscore rsa is the private key that should be kept safe and it should never leave your computer and the id underscore rsa dot pub now this is the public key that we will be copying over to our pi server now to copy the uh, public file over to our uh, pi server we're going to use the ssh copy id command now what ssh copy id does is that it copies the contents of the public key over to a file name authorized key that is on our pi server in its ssh directory now if we cd into our uh, ssh directory on our pi and list the contents you can see there is a file name authorized key and if we um, check the contents of the authorized key it is empty now now we are going to copy the uh, public key contents over to the authorized files using the ssh copy id command so to do uh, so to do that type in ssh copy id use the i flag which is the uh, flag for the identity file then type in the uh, location of the ssh directory followed with the id.rsa.pub and then we are going to enter the name and ip address of our pi server and then we are going to hit enter oh i made a mistake sorry uh, 192 i'm going to hit enter then we are going to enter your, the pi's password and if we now check the 
contents of the authorized key files we can see that the we have successfully copied the uh, public key in the authorized key files now if we ssh into our pi from our computer terminal it will not ask us for our password all right so what happens is that after copying the file over to authorized keys and then we uh, and when we ssh into our pi ssh checks the contents of the authorized keys and it checks if that uh, if if this public key the public key we have copied it if it is a mathematical match to the private key that we have on our uh, main computer so if if it is a match then we are granted access to our server without the hassle of entering or remembering a password so the process is really simple as you can see uh, and we have successfully ssh into our pi without the use of a password so we learned today how to set up key based authentication to connect to our remote server securely without the use of a password. So go ahead set up key based authentication for all your remote machines and get rid of those annoying passwords. Take care and I will see you in the next one.